In this set of videos, we'll do wreath ornaments for Christmas. This project is super easy. Even this your first crochet project, you could make very stunning wreath ornaments for your Christmas. With the crochet kits you received, we could DIY 6 wreath ornaments by combining different colors and accessories based on your preference. For beginner friendly, 6 ornaments share the same way to crochet the part of rings, bows and bells. If you are a beginner, we friendly suggest you refer to the basic crochet manual and scan QR code to view tutorial videos at first. Before we go, let's have a brief look at the materials in the crochet kit. Except for yarns, hook, needle, hot glue, markers, basic manuals and crochet pattern, six rings, bells and four Christmas accessories are still included. If you like the final works that I've made, then we'll need to crochet six rings, six bows and two bells in any color combination. Without further ado, let's start crocheting the ring. Hold the yarn, then place a circle above yarn. Use your thumb and middle finger to pinch the yarn and circle at the same time. Insert hook into circle, hook the yarn, draw through the circle from back to front and back to the working area. Adjust the position of yarn, circle and crochet hook. Yarn over and pull through the loop. A slip knot has made, this is not counted as a stitch, but a knot to start. Then tie yarn tail. Now, make two chain stitches. After two chain stitches, we'll work double crochets around until the circle has been completely covered by stitches. Yarn over. Insert hook through the circle like this. Hook the yarn from its right side then pull through circle from back to front. After it, we should not make crochet hook too far away from circle, but make crochet hook as close to circle as possible for better effect. Now there are three loops on the hook. Yarn over. Pull through the first two loops. There are two loops remain, yarn over and pull through this two loops on the hook. The first double crochet has made. Place a marker. Next, we use the same method to continue crocheting double crochets until the circle has been covered. For double crochets have made, to cover the circle, we'll work approximately 64 double crochets. And it will be slightly different depending on tightness of each crocheter. Here, the circle has been completely covered by 64 double crochets. Now, make a slip stitch to join this round. Insert hook into the place of marker. Yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook. That's one slip stitch and the inner round has finished. Now we make around 15 chain stitches for hanging where you can make more or less based on your preference for hanger's length.
Then we work one slip stitch with place of marker. Make a chain stitch before we work the outer round. To continue the second round, firstly cut the yarn and tail along the edge like this. If you'll put a mini gold bell on the bottom of this ring, count stitches of inner round to find and mark the stitch in the half. If it's not, ignore this step. Place a marker. Hold the yarn of outer round. Put yarn tail behind the first double crochet we've made. Insert hook into the first double crochet of inner round. Make one chain stitch to start with new color yarn. In this round, we firstly work one single crochet, two chains followed by one single crochet in the same stitch, then skip one stitch to repeat it until finish this round. The first single crochet has made, then we work two chain stitches here. Then insert hook into the same stitch to make one more single crochet. The first knot has made. Then we skip one stitch to work the same knot. The second knot has made, still skip one stitch. The third knot has finished, skip one stitch to work the fourth. If you don't know how many stitches you skipped, you can see more clearly by pulling the wreath apart. Complete the remaining stitches, don't forget to skip one stitch between knots. Now I'm about to crochet up to the marker. Unlock marker. Skip this stitch to continue work next knot. After one chain stitch, pull the yarn up. Prepare a short thread that divided from yarn. Put it into the yarn like this to assemble a gold bell.
Let Bell on the Working Yarn. Remove this thread. Insert hook into this circle, then tie the working yarn. Then make one chain stitch and one single crochet in this stitch to fasten the gold bell. Skip one stitch to work more knots. Complete the remaining stitches. There is one knot left to finish the outer round. After made the last knot, make a slip stitch with the beginning to join this rounds. Make one chain stitch before we cut the yarn. Cut yarn tail along the edge. Use needle to weave an end. The ring part of wreath ornament has done. Use white yarn or color you like to decorate it. The length of yarn is about half meter. Insert needle into the bottom of hanger. And pull through. Do this on every two stitches. Skip two stitches to repeat it. Don't pull this yarn too tight or it will wrinkle. When we finished, weave an end like this. Cut the extra yarn. Weave another tail.
In the next video, we'll crochet a bow.